Hello Leo, welcome to your mid-March reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. Now as always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. I am, ooh, we have two. We have square, semi-square or quincunx and we have 11th house. So I've gotten two star code oracles out. I'm going to get you a wisdom of the oracle as well as a monology and then we will move on to your tarot. Now I'm not focusing on love or career or anything in particular. Uh, we will just see what pops out for you. Exchanging gifts. I like that. All right. You're getting twos. Interesting. Full moon in Pisces. Forgive interesting wow all right i'm going to explain and we have take a breather last quarter moon in cancer let's talk about these real quick um so when it comes to um your star codes we have tension and community so it is possible that at this time you may be going through hiccups or speed bumps per se when it comes to um the people who you communicate with on a day-to-day -day basis now this could be um, co-workers it could be family it could be friends could be your soul tribe the 11th house talks about also plans for the future so the people that you are let's say planning a future with whether it's the future of a company or it's you know the future of your family um, whenever two planets square each other it's almost like they bring out the worst in each other Okay, that's what I'm getting. Now, on the 12th, we had Venus and Mars conjuncting in Aquarius. And why I mention Aquarius is because Aquarius rules the 11th house. During that conjunction, um, there was a lot of, I wouldn't say turmoil, but people found it difficult to balance the yin and yang within themselves because Venus represents yin and Mars is the yang within all of us though the planets were conjuncting it was almost like a race uh, that that's what i'm feeling um but we do have take a breather and we have forgive i don't get this card very often full moon in pisces so if there has been certain conflict i feel like forgiveness um would be the order of the day and it's so beautiful how you have exchanging gifts I feel like there is almost like there could have been some kind of tower moment when it came to the people that you deal with on a daily basis. I feel like it's time to douse that fire out. And if that means exchanging gifts when it comes to your words and being kinder and softer in your approach when you're dealing with this conflict or it is physical material gifts that um, you have to see what you resonate with. But let's pull out your tarot and see. Um, what pops up for you but how beautiful is this card i just want to show it to you isn't that lovely all right i'm also getting competition um because again when two planets conjunct there is that sense of trying to one up the energy of each other you know um let's see All right, we have the three of pentacles, five of wands, there it is, this is that conflict and the three of pentacles is literally the card of co-workers, people you deal with uh, and work with and you're trying to build something with. Eight of wands. Four of Wands, lots of fire here, 
and the Queen of Swords. All right, let's skim over these real quick. Um, what I'm getting here, Leo, is with the Nine of Pentacles, you've been focusing on your coin. You've been focusing on your independence when it comes to emotional independence as well as financial independence. And whether this means trying to stand out um, in the workplace or it means uh, just kind of not having to rely on anybody for anything. And I feel like you've done that successfully. Let me adjust the camera a tiny bit, sorry. Yeah, so you've been successful at this. The Nine of Pentacles is a beautiful energy, but it's not easy to come by. Um, we are communal beings with the community card there. And it is difficult for us to be completely self-reliant, as much as we want to be, you know. Uh, but I feel like you have reached that particular threshold and the Nine of Pentacles is pre-Empress energy. Now, there's no gender in tarot. Just take the energy with you. Uh, with the Five of Wands, like I said, I felt like there was some kind of competition. And the Five of Wands for me right under your semi-square conflict card is confirming that. And whether this conflict was within the workplace again, like I said, or it was within your relationships, we will see. With the Three of Pentacles, you have been trying to build something. You're, you're collaborating with people um, and sort of taking skill sets from different individuals in order to create um, something whole and complete. With the Queen of Swords, you are being... The Queen of Swords is someone who's like her own boss, someone who makes her own rules, someone who prioritizes wisdom, intellect and logic over emotions. So uh, I feel like getting here hasn't been easy for you and you have prioritized your intelligence, um, your IQ over your EQ, I would feel. Um, and you've been cutting people out left, right and center. If they don't serve your highest good, you're being very stern about it. With the Four of Wands, there is some sort of emotional fulfillment. There is a celebration and a completion of an emotional goal. We will see what this could be regarding. And with the Eight of Wands, this could mean travel for a few of you. It could mean speedy communication, something that comes about very swiftly. Let's see. Let's get a few clarifiers out. <clears throat> Ace of Cups. We have love showing up here as well. All right. Five of Cups. With a little bit of sadness mixed in. The Magician. Beautiful. All right. So what I get here is when it comes to love, I feel like for a few of you, it is possible that there was a friendship that turned into more. Because again, I'm looking at the 11th house. And I feel like at a particular point of time, it may have felt like the person you were dealing with brought out the best in you. They complimented your character, your personality. Um, but with the Queen of Swords here, I feel like there was something that you needed to cut out. It wasn't serving your highest good and you almost felt like I'm better off alone. We do have the Ace of Cups. I will get bridging energies here, but um, this is an offer of love. It could also, on the flip side, mean pouring all of that love into yourself because that is one of the only ways we can reach that sense of emotional independence where we don't need anybody else to fill that cup for us because we're good enough at doing it ourselves. Exchanging gifts could also mean exchanging gifts with yourself. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's like taking yourself out for a meal, taking yourself to a movie, taking yourself shopping, buying something for yourself. You know, all of those things are aspects of self-love. So we will see. Um, with the Five of Cups, there is some kind of sadness. I think whatever conflict this is, you have two fives. And when we see synchronicities with fives in them, they talk about change. And change is always difficult because we are creatures of habit, Leo. So I feel like whatever this change is, I feel like it is bringing about a sense of sadness to you. I will get um, a few more cards out. 
with the magician though i love that it's here you're not backing down you're not giving up it's like you realize how powerful you are being fixed fire the magician uses all the tools in his or her belt in order to create their own reality and i feel like you realize that and with the three of pentacles it's quite interesting this conflict that came about in your community uh whether it's in the workplace or in your friend circle it's almost like you feel like you don't need anybody to create all of this abundance for you you want to do it yourself i feel like you can all right 10 of swords yeah there has been pain here there's been an ending of some sort here the 10 of swords for me is an energy of overthinking something that's been overthought of and overdone in your mind because like the 10 of wands it's an accumulation the 10 of wands is an accumulation of talent and skill and hardship the 10 of swords is an over accumulation of thoughts uh some kind of overthinking led to conflict and an ending but the 10 of swords is also i mean it is an ending but all 10s are attached to a new beginning so we will see let's get a few more cards the 3 of wands you're waiting you're waiting for something to either restart or you're waiting to start something brand new for yourself eight of cups walking away yeah wow this reading is very cohesive ace of pentacles you have two aces here which represent like i said new beginnings Leo I feel like whatever it is you have walked away from uh you've done the right thing with an underlying current of the 10 of swords and the 5 of cups and the 5 of wands that that's a lot of mental conflict it's internal conflict as well as external conflict I do feel for a few of you if this is concerning love there are offers coming in with the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles and I always say this the ace of cups on its own can be a very wishy washy cup of love it can be very dreamy and cloudy and very neptunian but the ace of pentacles is what gives it gives it weight you know it grounds it and it gives it that ki- kind of foundation almost um for some of you I'm also getting that earlier i remember i had told you it could have been a friend who turned into something more i feel like if that hasn't happened for you it might there may be somebody in your friend group who you may not really see eye to eye with but it's almost like the feelings run deeper than you think going to get a couple more this reading is a little i want to be more specific for you the high priestess pisces energy could very well be a pisces coming in for you we do have the devil bottom of the deck capricorn energy we have the hanged man more pisces energy knight of pentacles more capricorn energy i feel the patterns that have been repeated in the past i feel like you've realized them you've you've realized the mistakes that have been made and you don't want to repeat those mistakes with the 8 of wands i do feel that the communication coming in it's almost like you're taking control of that communication you're not letting it happen to you you're making it happen and i feel like a lot of this new fresh start and a lot of this new beginning energy has a lot to do with forgiveness you need to be able to forgive whoever this person is that you've been dealing with you have a lot of pisces energy here With the Queen of Swords, I feel like the Queen of Swords in the tarot is not cold for no reason. She's been through hell and back. She's been through a whole lot that's made her how she is. So I feel like you are prioritizing logic over your heart. And that might be the right thing because I say this very often when the heart is broken, you can't really rely upon it to make the correct decisions because it's very biased your mind will never be 
biased. It's always going to try and protect you. That is the general reflex of our brain. Oh, all right, let me get a couple of tea leaves. Let's see. Teardrops, great personal sorrow. I see that with the five of cups. There was loss here. I don't know if this is a restart to what was lost. These aces that have been popping up. I'm not certain. Um, or it could be just someone brand new. We do have May. So you may, ha may have something coming about for you in May. Um, or it is possible that the person you are dealing with was born in May. And we have wealth. That's wonderful. I like that with the Nine of Pentacles. It's that accumulation of independent wealth, of personal wealth. I feel like you've been very stern with the connections in your life uh, when it comes to work as well as your personal life. And I think that's doing you well. That dependence on self is doing you well. Let's get one more. Career. There we go. Right under wealth. I feel like this, it, it may be a good time to focus on work. And like I said earlier, when the heart is broken, it's best to let it heal and not put too much weight on it and not use it too much, if that makes sense. And I see you doing just that. You have to remember, this is just a you know, two-week energy. This is not the rest of your life. So I would suggest for the next two weeks, lay low, heal yourself, focus on work because I see beautiful things coming in. And... With the 11th house, again, I'm getting, it is possible that you have a community around you who you may be ignoring, so to speak. Um, there may be people around you who do have your best intentions at heart and you may be pushing them away right now. I feel like embracing those people right now could do you some good. And forgiveness is key, Leo. Keep that in mind. All right. I hope this helped you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.